actual CV, so getting to know about researching and people working in the company. Today we have with us here Mr. George Kumas. Hi. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. So, sir, could you give us a little bit about yourself and what you do in the company? Okay. My name is George Kunus and uh, I actually handle the uh, sales uh, for India. And uh, of course, when I say India, we also cover up a uh, couple of countries which are around India, like Bhutan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. So, sir, so we are primarily basing our questions on the Indian market. Yeah. So, we want a little bit of insights on how the Indian market for AV is and what do you think is the future of the Indian market? Okay. So if you really see uh, the India market for uh, conferencing or presentation or the trading industry, which is what I call, you know, it really took off about 30 years back, you know, the way how people started presenting. Earlier it used to be the transparencies using the overhead projectors, but uh, down the line uh, you had the projectors coming in, people started using the laptops for making presentations. And today uh, people expect rooms to be full-fledged, fully equipped. Uh, with the right kind of products like the projectors which are slowly being getting replaced with LEDs and video walls and people going into active LEDs. So what we are seeing is uh, the expectation from the customers uh, has changed over the years and uh, you don't have big rooms as such which used to be uh, maybe 15 or 20 years. The number of meetings have increased be it for internal or for external, with customers, with vendors, with your, all your stakeholders. So the number of meeting rooms have increased over the years. And uh, uh, we see employees actually fighting for rooms. You know, there's a dearth of rooms. So that clearly shows uh, the kind of importance meetings have in a company. And uh, naturally, because of the hybrid work culture, which has caught up after the COVID, uh, there is a need to ensure that each of these rooms are equipped with the right products so that uh, the users get the right experience and uh, more than anything else companies who are investing in all these things you know they would want that people use this effectively so it has to be user friendly so we see technology catching up and with reference to India I think India is not lagging behind uh, compared to any other countries we have the products which are available uh, here through partners like Resurgent who bring it and uh, who are you know, considered to be at par with the best in the world. Sir, and what we feel is every company has this dream of going global. Yes. Right? But if I had to ask you and if you had to define what makes the Indian market unique yeah. and how it compares with other markets around the world, what yeah. is your take on it? I think India, like I mentioned, you know, one, uh, the products are available when it is launched globally in any part of the world, it is uh, launched in India at the same time. So the products are made available. Second is uh, you have a lot of multinational companies. Uh, so any company who wants to set up an infrastructure here in India goes for uh, products which are used maybe in US or in Europe. So you have the best of equipments which are made available. The key aspect is not making the uh, technology or the product available but ensuring that these are implemented, You know, which is very critical uh, from a user perspective is not just having the product but is the product uh, meeting the needs as it been implemented correctly because when any company wants to invest these products they're not doing it for one year or two years mm -hmm. you know there is a capex involved and they expect that uh, the solution should be there uh, uh, and should not get obsolete so that's where you know integrators like us play a great important role in ensuring that one you understand the customer needs correctly uh, the solution designing is very important, you know, the optimization of the solution is very important and the third thing and the most important part which is kind of sometimes neglected uh, or not given the due importance is the how uh, do you implement the product, is the entire project itself, you know, are you able to deliver it and without any kind of a compromise on the quality which is very important for the longevity of the equipment itself and uh, of course it needs to be trained. So the rooms are used, going to be used by different people at different times. So uh, a person will not use it unless and until they are very comfortable using it. So that's where the effectiveness comes in. So that's where companies like us you know, play a very really important role in understanding the customer requirement, uh, optimization of solutions, implementation is of great importance, you know, meeting of the global standards of quality, and of course, uh, ensuring that the products are trained, you know, the clients are given the right kind of hand-holding, and uh, for us, it's more about customer satisfaction, which is important. 
So I think companies to companies uh, it differs. So our uh, expectations are that you know uh, we build relationship with companies. That's what we look at. And sir, to wind everything up, what is the one piece of advice that you'd like to give our viewers? I think the same thing.